Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord is a game that is currently in early access, and with that we've gotten a slew of new patches across both the live branch and the beta branch. With some of those patches I've gotten a lot of reports of comments or people asking me through streams, hey you know my save game is broken after the most recent patch, or I booted up the beta and now my game is broken um, as far as trying to load in the game or it crashes. So I just want to go through some of the basic troubleshooting stuff that I do. None of this stuff is incredibly like groundbreaking or anything, but I think that if people don't really know about the beta opt-in program on Steam, this is something that they would probably never access. And I think one of the nice things about Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord with Tail Worlds is that they've actually given every single previous patch as an opt-in on the property section of your game. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into uh, just the actual... Um, desktop and I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I do before I load big beta patches or before I even load a normal patch so let's go ahead and take a look at what we can do here for you and just as a quick heads up something that I will reiterate throughout this video is that if your game was already not working prior to or, or after applying a patch um, this I don't think this will actually fix it this is my experience if you have been playing the game Updating a patch is what essentially broke the game. This has been essentially my troubleshooting for it. So let's again dive in and see how I can help you out. So here we are with our Steam library. Now, before we do anything, I think the big thing that you should be doing uh, with some of these patches, and since there have been so many issues, this is a good thing to kind of get into uh, the mindset for, because I'll show you when, when we jump into the game, but <clears throat> even though you install a patch, it doesn't actually attach to your save game until you boot that save up. When you boot the save up, it'll say, hey, do you wanna load this? It's from a previous module. That's when you're pretty much gonna apply the patch to that save. So if you don't do this and the patch goes out, it's don't worry, it's not too late. So what you wanna do is um, usually, usually you would go here, you'd right click on uh, Mountain Blade, you'd go to manage, then you'd go to browse local files. And that would typically bring you to where the save games are. Now, for Mountain Blade, it's a bit different. Instead, you want to go to your Documents folder, and then you want to go to Mountain Blade to Bannerlord, and then Game Saves, and then Native. There you go. So, <clears throat> here are all of my uh, current saves. I'll just Control A, Control C, save them. They're pretty massive, and uh, seeing that this is 1.6 gigs, um, I'm probably going to comb through and just and uh, get rid of some of these. But now that I've gotten all my saves, I'm going to go back to my, uh, my root folder into my documents. I have already a folder called MB for Mountain Blade already. And you can see I've got a folder for pre 1.2 testing or 1.1.1 testing. And this was even an older file or a folder that I, I all the files were just in this folder that I, I just created into a new a folder to, to look neat for the video, despite the fact that I'm a disgusting slob. But no, <laughs> you'll, uh, you'll make a folder. I typically name it after the patch that you're about to download and just go ahead and paste everything in and voila. So this way, if anything does happen, you've got a save to roll back to. And I mean, so I can jump back here to the 16th if I so wish, and I can go hog wild with some of these. So <clears throat> try and make sure you keep a rolling amount of save game folders until you're very certain you don't need to jump forward. Now, <clears throat> what if you do what if I mean? What if you 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 open up your save, and oh no, um, it's broken. I can't fix it. it. I can't roll back to a previous save because I don't have it stored in one of my little uh, folders here. So I'm you know shit out of luck. So what you can do here is jump over to Mountain Blade Two Bannerlord, go to Properties, go to Betas, and then you've got your opt-in. Right. This is how you would get into the 1.2 beta. Well, you have every single other patch that Tail Worlds has released, including all the way down to the base one. So if you want, you'd select this and it would start to update the game for you. I don't want this, so stop, please. <laughs> but um, this is a really good way to make sure that if your game is having a lot of issues, you can keep it running. I mean, you can go, hey, well, I just updated to the most recent patch and it's not working. So the most recent patch would be this one, 1.1.1. Well, it's not working. I booted up my save and it's just it just crashes the game. Well, what's the last patch that you knew was stable? Which well, previous probably the one previous to it. So, switch over to 1.1.0. You click close and then you click update and it will boot it up to 1.1.0. And this way you can jump in 
make sure that your save is working because you want to jump into the actual game and boot that save up with the patch that you know it worked with. So basically, just to recap here, because I feel like that was a little confusing. Let's say you are on you are on patch 1.1.1 and that broke your save game. Well, roll back to 1.1.0, press close, resume, downloads the update, jump back into the game, load up the troubled save, and it should be fixed. By loading up the troubled save, you're applying the patch to the save. And once you've done that, you should be safe. I mean, I, I can't guarantee this will work for you. And this is honestly only if you're having problems as a result of a patch update. Uh, if you're having problems to start, I honestly don't really know what it could be because uh, there are so many different things that could be going wrong. Now, this is also just one of many little fixes that you could do to fix your game. And this is one that I wanted to cover because I covered in my patch notes videos, but not everyone gets a chance to watch those. And if you're looking exclusively for how to fix your game, I wanted to have just a little tiny uh, walk through a troubleshoot of what I would do in the situation and what I've personally done. Uh, I've booted up the, the first beta branch and it broke my game. I exited out. Deleted the save because it was an auto save, so I didn't really it didn't matter to me too much. Deleted the save, switched back to the previous patch, booted the game up, and it worked just fine. So I've done it before a couple times actually, and I know it does work. And it makes a lot of sense. If you were on a previous patch, that work patch worked, you're good. So <clears throat> that is something that you can do. And then once you get it to once you get back to the previous save, or I'm sorry, the uh, the previous patch, and you you boot up your save all right. You can copy your save, make sure it's safe, and then try going back into it again. Sometimes that'll work. And sometimes it's, it's being on the certain location of the map that you just need to roll back your save, move your, your hero's actual location, then apply the patch, and sometimes it'll work. There's a lot of wonky stuff with the patches sometimes. So we'll close that. And the other thing you can do now is right-click here, go to Properties. Now you want to go to uh, local files and then verify integrity of game files. This will scrub through all of your game files, make sure they're all up to date, make sure that nothing's corrupted, make sure nothing's mi not missing or anything like that that was weirdly deleted or somehow, stuff like that. I think these two big tips are the things that are going to really help you out when it comes to, I guess, basically troubleshooting a game after a patch. Now again, if you're having problems from the start, it's probably some other issue that isn't linked to the actual version of the game, so much so as some sort of weird configuration with some sort of driver or some other BS setting. So um, I want to jump into the game real quick and exemplify what I was talking about, about the module not being applied to the game until you load in. So let's jump over to the save screen. So here we are back in the game and you can see here that um, I've booted up into our save game portion and you can see this little display box that shows me what patch module we've basically booted the game up on or what one it actually started on so on and so forth. <clears throat> so if I come down here to a really old save, let's just say uh, old Sturgeon version 1. So I can see that I started this save on 1.0.0 and then it upgraded, the last time it was kind of updated was 1.0.5. So if you are again having problems with a save game, make sure you're taping, taking a special note of either native, which patch it was created on initially, or which patch it was last played on. So again, this one was last played on 1.0.5. I'll go ahead and press load. I'll wait for it to give me the blot. There it is. Do you want to load the saved game with different different modules? This is again referring to it updating to the most recent patch. So if you don't get this window, then your uh, save is up to the most recent one. So this gives you an idea of how save games work, how patching your game actually applies to those save games only at the point of loading it in. So again, if you're having problems, try rolling back to a previous save. This should hopefully save you some time, some effort and some headache. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry if this video didn't help you out. I think that's the big frustration here is when people try all these uh, workarounds and all these fixes and unfortunately the game still doesn't work. So if you are still having problems booting your game up, you can go ahead and leave a comment below. I don't work for Tail Worlds, but I have messed up playing a lot of video games in my life that I can hopefully try to at least somewhat troubleshoot you through it or in leaving a comment, someone else will have a similar issue and say, hey, this is what I did to fix it. Also, please do make sure you're checking out the subreddit or Bannerlord, because a lot of people have said, hey, here's my technical issue, and there have been a lot of really great posts for it. So 
Hopefully again, this helped you out. And if it didn't, hopefully somewhere in the comment section or subreddit, you do get some aid in playing Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. You can see from Steam, I have 127 hours put into it and I can't stop playing. So guys, thank you so much for watching here today. If you have any other questions, as always, please go ahead and leave them below in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that kind of action. But have a good one and take care.